Hello and welcome to this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful project resolution call. I am Matt Kahn, and as always, it is an absolute pleasure and privilege to be with you to serve your evolution. On today's call, because for many of us, and I know we all live in different states and countries and continents, we're in that fall holiday season. And maybe we celebrate different holidays, but it's a holiday season, hopefully, that we can all feel. And on these project resolution calls, we often come together to bring our energies for the greater good of others, for the greater good of humanity. And because a lot of us are entering into some sort of Thanksgiving-like holiday, I wanted today's project resolution call to be a gratitude meditation. And I'll walk through the steps of a gratitude meditation. It's very simple. And again, it's just about allowing the energy I transmit to guide you through this experience. It doesn't require any visualizing, any hard work. It's just a matter of bringing your attention to a perspective of gratefulness. And because these project resolution calls are all about using our energy to uplift humanity, and to support the ascension of humanity. And again, there will be many layers to this call that will, of course, lead ultimately back to you. But when we talk about a gratitude meditation, it is simply about sitting quietly, and it can be a writing in your journal exercise, writing out what you're grateful for, sitting with your hand on your heart and focusing on what you're grateful for. And as we enter the holiday season in this meditation of gratefulness, I want us to focus on offering gratitude to the helpers of the world. You've all heard me talk about this recently, that when we focus on being helpful, it helps us heal the wounds of being hurtful, it transmutes the energy of hatefulness, and as we continue to use helpfulness as a spiritual dharmic practice, it will even help us integrate our healing journey to arrive in a dimension where there's actually nothing more to heal and overly process. And a, and a wonderful, wonderful inspiration throughout my entire life who, who, who teaches this. A lot of you hear me talk about Archangel. So let's talk about Archangel Mr. Rogers, whose mother taught him at a young age, when you see something scary or precarious, look for the helpers. Notice that there's always someone helping another human being in a moment of danger. Where there is a moment of fear, where there is a moment of, I'm afraid for someone's livelihood or even my own, look for the helpers that are there helping to make anyone's life, anyone's moment of peril, a moment of miraculous grace. And so in honor of Archangel, Mr. Rogers, let us through this gratitude meditation honor the helpers of the world And of course, this will lead you back to gratitude for yourself. It doesn't have to be a repeat after me. With your hand on your heart, just let the energy in my words guide you. As for this moment during project resolution, we take a break from focusing on our inner process and focus on being grateful for all the helpers who are in the trenches on the front lines, doing such gritty work and giving so much of themselves so that other people can be touched by the grace of spirit. May we have gratitude for the frontline workers in hospitals, doctors, nurses, healthcare professionals, administrators, People who have choose to spend time away from their family and friends, who give up their holidays to ensure that those in hospitals, whether with COVID 
or any other ailment can be assisted and supported in their healing. May we bless all nurses and doctors. And may we remember with grace and admiration the nurses and doctors that have perished in the last two years, giving their lives in service to those who have been sick. May we, re may we remember them May we remember and honor with gratitude members of the armed forces. Perhaps members of your family are in armed forces, whether serving in a military, trying to keep people safe and sound in whatever country their mission is in. Perhaps you have friends or family members that are in local armed forces. And although there are people in the police force, and it's very popular to talk about police reform, let us also honor that there are so many officers of the law that are beautifully upstanding citizens who live to protect the rights and civil liberties of beings of all races and genders and cultures. Let us be grateful for all members of local enforcement and military. And even if you are someone who is, does not support the notion of war, and I am one of them, we still have gratitude for those human beings who serve who have heart, who are the light of spirit, even if wearing a badge or decorated in camouflage. And may we bless their families that they get to have video calls with their relatives or that those relatives get to come home sooner and be with their loved ones. And may we shed tears of joy in anticipation of those serving in far off lands who finally get to come home and be with their families. Even if you're someone who doesn't have a family of your own. Sometimes just being grateful for other people and what they have can be equal to you feeling like you have that in your own life because that's the beauty of unity consciousness. Let us be grateful for city workers, whether it are, whether the people who pick up our garbage cans, who clean up our streets. Who help ensure that no matter how dilapidated a city looks, it will be cleaned up by people who live in service for the beauty of our communities. To those who plant and maintain the flowers and the plants in our parks, the forestry workers who ensure that our trails are clear and that every time we go for a hike or a walk, we can be stricken by the awe and beauty of nature because there are people who help to keep these beautiful places well manicured so that our connection with spirit and nature can remain so awe-inspiring. Let us be grateful for them. Let us, let us be grateful for small business owners perhaps a storekeeper, whether you shop at their store or not, 
that you can walk into that store and even for a moment have a connection and a laugh. And even if you're spending your holidays alone, you can share a laugh that makes you feel for that moment. The reminder that friendship is always everywhere. Even if it doesn't take shape and form in your life the way that you hope on a more regular basis. Let us be grateful for restaurant owners, for chefs, for servers, for all of those who work so hard to ensure that when we leave our homes, we are welcomed with beautifully curated meals and experiences that give us a chance to meet each other and connect beyond the division of our differences. Because as we know, there is no greater way to connect beyond the facade of our differences than to share a meal together. Because while we all may order different entrees on the menu, our nourishment is the same. Our enjoyment is the same. Let us have gratitude for school teachers, whether they are teaching in person or virtually and have to go back and forth. School teachers that are still shaping the minds of the next generation. School teachers, whether feeling underappreciated, underpaid, or at their wit's end. We see you, we honor you, we appreciate you. Let us have gratitude for every parent, every man, woman, mother, father, who during this pandemic time has had to wear so many hats and pivot in so many ways some even having to become homeschool teachers to their children. May we honor with gratitude the selfless role it takes to be a mother and a father, even if you are a mother and a father to the inner child dwelling in your heart. Take a moment before we continue and just feel. Feel the gratefulness for all the helpers that we're becoming aware of. There are actually more helpers in the world than there are people hurting people. If we take a moment to make a list of all the helpers, we start to feel that the help outweighs the hurt. And perhaps we only get overwhelmed in feeling that the hurt is so much more powerful or bigger in numbers than the help. Perhaps because we overlook taking moments of gratefulness like this to really list out as many helpers as we can. And if in this process I forget any helpers, I certainly apologize. I'm just using my channel <laughs> to bring to mind all the various helpers. And there are always so much more, so many more. Members of the Peace Corps. Doctors volunteering in villages in third world countries, offering their services free of charge to ensure that children can make it to adulthood, to help build wells so that everyone can have fresh, clean drinking water, and that villages are able to have sustainable harvests and crops to feed their families in village. Let us have gratitude for the chaplains who even at the bedside of someone who may not be aware of other human beings or may not have a single family member to hold their hand in their final breath is there to comfort and let them know that they are always seen, heard, and valued. 
and always one with spirit. May we have gratitude for hospice care workers and volunteers who at first seem like strangers meeting one another and then become dance partners as one in hospice prepares for their final moments as they leave this planet and return back to source. Having the companionship that sometimes comes from unexpected people and places. Let us have gratitude for the doulas that help women birth children into this world and help ensure that babies entering this world for the first time have the most harmonious entry into a brand new world of evolution and discovery. Let us have gratitude for construction workers. Those who help construct and build. And even in times of peril and anger where things in our cities are burnt to the ground, bless the construction workers who clear that space, only making room for something bit more beautiful to emerge for our planet. Bless the workers who always construct and create out of the ashes of destruction. Bless the firemen and firewomen who extinguish the flames of that which was never meant to exist any further in that specific form, who save lives along with EMTs and paramedic workers who meet people in their moment of grave uncertainty and peril and say, you didn't expect this. You don't know what's going to happen. And I, neither do I, but we're here together. Together as one. You can take a breath of relief because a helper is here. And I am here to help you. Bless the light workers of this planet, those of us that are anchoring light, whether we know that our energy field is doing it or not. Knowing that anchoring light is not about your ego trying to control the action of anchoring light. The anchoring light is what you become aware that your energy field has always done. That the uncomfortable feelings in your body is what your energy field is transmuting. Let us take a moment and bless those light workers, whether you are working in a career as a light worker, a massage therapist, a Reiki master, whether you are a light worker manifested as a parent, a student, a teacher, a corporate executive. A light worker is simply the term we give to someone who is becoming aware that the light of their being is healing and transforming the world around them. So whether you are an aware light worker or becoming more of an aware light worker, even if you deny that you are offering any light work to this planet, I still honor with gratitude the light worker in you and all. Let us have gratitude for the light workers. Those playing their roles so obviously and those who are cleverly disguised, even so cleverly disguised in you that not even you have fully seen the light worker that you are. You don't have to believe it, but we can be grateful for it.
Bless all of those with gratitude on this planet who are healing and resolving so much in their personal life as their contribution to clearing the collective unconsciousness and ancestral lineages. Whether aware of it, caught in perils of addiction, or just spiraling from one moment to the next. May we with gratitude say thank you, dear light workers, and thank you, dear souls, for incarnating to work out what is not only evolving your journey, but resolving the past to ensure a peaceful, united as one future for all of mankind. Thank you to local officials and even, dare I say, politicians. Because there are many in this world doing a lot of selfless work as civil servants to bring about political reform, social justice, and to help create a new reality that serves the well-being and equality of all beings. And even if there are politicians that are not so genuine, with gratitude for even them who bring to the attention of the collective all the inconsistencies, all the imbalances that help us broaden our conversation so that we can see with such dramatic inconsistencies a conversation that allows all to be included in streams of distribution so that no one has to be hungry, no one has to be unseen or unheard or uncared for. Thank you to even the politicians with agendas who help the world unite in a grassroots movement. For it is not political theater that will solve the world's problems. It is the power of conscious community that will make everything right in the end. It is through the power of conscious community, the returning of I am, the second coming of Messiahhood, where I am manifests as we are, together as one. And take a moment and let's turn this gratitude towards yourself. And ask yourself a beautiful question. When was the last time you were helpful in the life of someone else? And I'm I'm saying that not as a judgment, of course. It's easy to say, oh, I haven't done that. I'm asking more of like in a positive way. Let's just remember the last time we helped someone. And it could have been today. I helped someone today. Walking out, getting my latte. And I took a moment. I changed someone's life. I was walking out of the coffee house. And I saw a man digging through a trash can for food. And I have I have a rule of thumb when I when I when I have a feeling of giving that comes over me. And I play a game which is I open my wallet. And if I have cash in my wallet, it goes to the person I'm motivated to connect with. And I walked to this man who didn't see me. And I said, and I politely said, excuse me, sir. Because everyone is sir and ma'am to me. If you meet me in person, I love saying that. Especially the children and dogs and cats. I said, excuse me, sir. I don't mean to bother you. Are you hungry? Do you need money? And he looked at me shocked that anyone was even giving him the time of day. And I reached into my wallet and I pulled out a $20 bill because that was what was in there. It must be his. And I gave it to him. 
and he literally almost burst into tears and he goes, I'm a tile worker. I've been out of work and I have a family and I'm just trying to figure out how to support my family and no one's even acknowledged me or given me a dollar. And I said, well, welcome to the holiday season and may you and your family be blessed. And I gave him the $20 bill and he and I shared a beautiful hug together and I said, it's going to be okay. As I walked away, I could hear him saying, oh my God, are you serious? Thank you. And his name was John. And I introduced myself as Matt. As I walked away, I said, Merry Christmas, Matt. And I said, thank you, John. Now that man has a little money to feed his family. Now that man has been acknowledged. And now that man is not a stranger in my neighborhood. That is not a homeless man. That is John. And John matters. You matter. And my question is, can we take a moment to look for when was the last time you gave of yourself to make someone else matter? And I'm not saying to look at when you didn't do it, but just remember, maybe it was a smile in traffic. Maybe it was someone wanted to go next in traffic and you let them go before you. Maybe it was you held a door open for someone or you did a favor for someone. Or someone may have been having a bad day and was rude, and you were not rude back. All of us are naturally helpful. It's just important that we look for it. And I want, and can you right now honor by remembering the last time you were helpful? Can you say to yourself as a repeat after me, I am a helpful person. Because it's the only way the spirit in me can exist. I don't have to work hard at being helpful. It's just the way I am. And through acknowledging this helpfulness... May I manifest more opportunities to be helpful. To transmute the hate. Unravel the hurt. And even transcend endless cycles of healing and processing. by awakening and activating. The helper I am now. And can we take a moment of gratitude, almost a moment of anticipation? I know it's so popular in the spiritual journey. Talk about not anticipating the future. And yet when done from a place of consciousness, even anticipating the future can be done as a positive tool of affirmation. And can we right now just feel the gratitude and the joy that there will soon come a time where there is someone that will come your way that you can help so effortlessly just to remind you how powerful, successful, and abundant you are. Because my definition of abundance is abundance is having enough to share. Whether sharing your time, a smile, a hug, money, opportunity, being a shoulder to cry on, or an ear that hears and validates someone's harrowing life journey, or eyes that see the spirit in someone, even when when buried beneath layers of sorrow and filth and neglect, emotional pain, and mental imbalance. I'm not saying to do things that you're not called to do. I'm saying to be aware and to be excited that there will come a time shortly after this call where you will have an opportunity to help and to feel good about the helper that you are. 
and to be grateful for those that call for our help, that help interrupt in the lives of spiritual people their internal, never-ending inner process. Bless the souls that dress up as people in need of help that interrupt the endless inner process that frees spiritual people and all people from dwelling on their pain, swirling in their past, regretting their history, hating or harming themselves. Souls who dress up as people in need who interrupt that, just to remind you of the light within you that is always here to help, that is always shining, no matter how bleak or grim circumstances may appear to be. May us feel the excitement of, even if it's been a long time since I've helped someone, I'm excited that I am in a position to help someone again very soon. And may I be grateful for the me that can help in even the smallest of way. And may I be grateful for those I can help who momentarily free me from my inner process to remind me how brightly I shine as I remind them how brightly they shine. And may in this meditation of gratitude that we can come back to and listen as many times as we want for free during the holiday season. May we rejoice in the beauty of conscious community. Where community is where those of divine connection meet themselves in another. And the only difference between community and a room full of strangers is the generosity that guides us to reach across the aisle and to say it's okay that we're different. But I honor what's bright and brilliant in you. May this holiday season and the time that comes beyond our holiday seasons, may this time of expansive conscious community no longer divide us from our differences or divide us by our differences. May we set aside categories such as vaxxed or unvaxxed, Republican, Democrat, moderate, liberal, whatever. May we set aside labels that divide us biases that cause us to fear what looks or feels different in the lifestyles, cultures, or skin color of others. And may we instead celebrate through diversity the differences in culture, religion, race that give us so much beauty to uncover even when it comes gift-wrapped in such an extraordinarily different or foreign Appearance, And again, only foreign to us because it's new. But while foreign also means something that's new to us, do you know what's always new to us? A gift. When someone gives you a gift, you're excited to open up a box because it's brand new. And you're excited to see what new thing have I been given. May that be how we interact with every race, creed, culture, and religion, sexual orientation, and lifestyle. Of course, those lifestyle choices of upstanding citizens. And may every person we meet of a various combination of race, creed, culture, sexual orientation, lifestyle, be like a gift we are having the joy and honor of opening and receiving. And as we receive everyone as a gift, they equally have the chance to open to us as a gift, even if they decide not to receive us the way we receive them, and that's okay. 
May every person you interact with be a gift. May every opportunity be a chance to be helpful instead of hurtful and hateful. And may this moment of gratitude continue to permeate your entire being so that as you go out throughout the day, you're always looking for helpers. You're always looking for what you're grateful for. You're always looking for opportunities to inspire, to help, to serve. With everyone to help and no one to correct. And may you live as the gift in the lives of others around you. Whether you feel like a gift that's being opened like Christmas morning every day, whether you feel like a gift that's been tucked away in the attic and forgotten, or a box wrapped in a pretty bow, that those you came to help, serve, and love are just about to discover. May you live as the gift that you can perceive in the diversity and differences of others. May we look for the helpers. May we intend to be more helpful, even if the person you are serving and the only person you have the energy to serve is you. And of course, we offer gratitude to all angels, ascended masters, our deceased relatives, our ancestors, our animal guides, our spirit animals, Mother Earth, the universe, our brothers and sisters of different star systems, planets that visit us in ships, that come to us in our dreams, that serve in the awakening of this planet as we are. May we have gratitude that the beings of the highest consciousness from the farthest star systems, endless galaxies away, and those who are just here grounded on Earth are all one in the same mission of preserving this planet and making it a beautiful conscious space for all sentient beings. May we have gratitude for the animals in our lives or in the wild all the insects, all the life, even the microbes and the micro life forms we can't even see or identify. And we have gratitude for the ecosystem that all works perfectly to help life continue to thrive as an expression of the source and spirit that is here serving the evolution of all together as one. Just take a moment and breathe all this in. And just to anchor all of this. And again, anytime, if you're too overwhelmed with your family, if you're feeling alone, you can come back to this project resolution call and you can bring yourself back to the space. And we anchor all the energy we've cultivated and all the energy you feel in transmitting and we say as this repeat after me, I am grateful, grateful I am. 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 One more time, I am grateful, grateful I am. And then we modify it. I am helpful, helpful I am. 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 One more time, I am helpful, helpful I am. And of course, we have one more repeat after me to bring this all together. Why am I grateful? Why am I helpful? I am the light, the light I am. 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 
I am the light, the light I am. One more time. I am the light, the light I am. And as an invitation, as we bring this call to a conclusion, I want to invite you to into an action step. As an action step, two action steps. One, for further emotional and energetic support. Please join us next Thursday for an incredible Together as One where the theme will be returning of the Divine Feminine. Sliding scale is offered to accommodate every level of every household. If you can't join us live, you get replays for a few weeks so everyone can be served. Please join us for next week's Together as One, which you can sign up for at matcon.org. And also, to anchor the energy of this call, today, tomorrow, or sometime in the very near future, just remember the last person that helped you and reach out to them and say, remember that time you did that thing? You really helped me, and I just wanted to take this moment to thank you for helping me. Because when you thank a helper for helping you, you help remind a helper of how powerful they are, which helps to heal the hurt, the hate, the helplessness, and accelerate the healing in their life and the lives of all. May we move forward with gratitude, be aware of the helpers, and bless the Holy Spirit that moves through all beings, no matter how things seem or appear. I am Matt Kahn. I look forward to seeing you next week for an incredible Together as One event. I am grateful for the gratitude that we are expanding on this planet. I am grateful for the helplessness you offer to the world, even if you haven't seen or recognized it. And I'm grateful for the help you will continue to be in other people's lives and the greater help that will come to you to inspire your light to shine even brighter. I bow in your presence. It's an honor to serve you. And we are here completing our mission. Together as one. I love you. Namaste.